drill our clocks. Okay? So if we're here, this is to train your brain and learn ways of setting up and tricking your opponent. Okay, first kick, we're going to do seven kicks. Okay, the seventh is an option, you'll see. First one, inside kick. I don't care if that, you do that with a step out, which is actually more efficient, depending on range, or little switch on the balls of your feet. Okay guys, when you do a switch, short on the balls of your feet so it's fast. It's not this, which I hate, everyone does this. Here I'm coming, I'm gonna kick you. you know, don't do that. Okay, so first one's inside kick, bam. Second one's outside kick. Third one, okay, is lead side kick to the knee. Okay, in MMA, all the two states and pros, all the two states is love. I've been, you know, proponent of that, putting videos out online in mixed martial arts forums. And I see one camp in particular is paying attention to it. See Carlos Condit using that to affect on Nick Diaz and occasionally the high kick, but he doesn't know what angle. You know, he didn't know what angle kick Diaz was doing. And that's kind of what this is for. Or John Jones against Rampage, another good example of that. So the third one's going to be side kick to the knee. Just be careful in training, but you're going to use your heel. And the side kick's basically lift up here and out. The fourth one is an uh, oblique kick, okay? Mostly Savat style, this is particular uh, Italian chasse boss um, from Savat. Up and out. That's usually how I do it. You can also do it with sweeping motion. It's faster, that's used when he's moving forward, okay? But up and out has a little more power, like a piston. Up and down and out. Up and down. So that's four. So the first four again. One, two, three, four. Okay, by the second time you hit the guy in the knee, he's gonna say, I don't like this no more. Okay, he might switch, or instead he might just kind of instinctively do like a check up the center line, or if he's smart, he points the knee and brings the heel up to the butt and comes in with a punch and knocks me in my butt. But most guys haven't gotten to that yet, but instinctively they'll do something. So since he's probably gonna come up the center line, I go back to the outside. And you see, because it wasn't perfect, I still messed up his base. Okay, do the same thing again. You know, and if I'm lucky, that's what I get. And it's a pretty damaging kick, and I might get something, you know, a follow-up punches after that. So five is go to the outside again. Six, I go to the outside again, but he wises up and he checks it, okay? Six, boom. Oh, man, this guy's smart. He knows what's up. He knows I'm going, you know, beating up his leg. We're going to be circling, of course, during all this. It's just a way of mixing this stuff up in your brain in a drum. Now seven, watch his position when he checks. We're going to check again. Okay. It leaves two lines open depending on how he checks. One's not blocked. Either high line, if he's not checking like technically perfect, or low line. So the seventh one's your option. Usually I'm gonna go give him give me a nice full check. Seven here. I go for a cup kick take that. Okay? And it's open a lot. I've used this against a lot of pros even way back in the day. And no one's really picked up on it. It's a staple when we tie, but guys are not doing it yet, other than Cowboy Strong did, even in his defeat against Nick Diaz, was doing it, okay? Um, but when you're beating the knees up and you're beating the leg up, it's gonna open the cut kick up. So the cut kick's like this. If you're doing a check, you just go low. You step in and go to that ankle. If you can, the other hand's a thrower of some kind, okay? So it's best to cut in at an angle at like that 45 and cut kick low at the ankle. Instead, if you see a guy doing this, he's lifting the leg, but he's not doing a check here where he should be because of question mark kicks and whatnot. You throw the question mark kick. Question mark kick or Brazilian kick is when it looks like a low kick or a mid kick and you turn it up to go high. So if you see he's doing this, you might just say, oh, he's always checking like that. He's picked up on it now. And in, instead of going here, okay, I see what he's going here and I go, boom, last second I turn it up to the head. Okay, I make it look like a low kick and then I dip and, and flare the leg up. Okay, so the seven one is up, is up to you. So, one, two, three, four, five, bam, I nail him. Six, he checks. Seven, you go under or go high. Whoop, I went high because I saw where his left hand was. Out of habit, he kind of stays a little low. Okay, so you gotta read your point. Once you get the drill down, you trade back and forth. Then you start giving a little movement. It can be one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six, boom, or seven, okay? You can mix it up a little bit, and you can move around a little bit. Seven? Okay, good. 